Hey, welcome to UK Wildcrafts. I thought I'd come explore this bit of woodland. I've never been here before, but I thought I'd take a look, and I'm glad I did, because I found a huge patch of these scarlet elf cups. It's the biggest patch I've ever seen. There's literally thousands of them covering this woodland. See what I mean? Just look around, you see little red specks coming out everywhere. Look at all these. I don't think I've ever seen more than 30 in one place before. So this is a nice surprise. And what I like about finding big patches of mushrooms like this is that I've got no guilt in collecting enough to take home and preserve. Because even if I took a hundred, it wouldn't even scratch the surface of uh, how many are growing here uh, everywhere. also a huge mat of this opposite leaved golden saxifrage as well so I'll be uh, taking some of this back for salad there we go that should be enough for doing a jar of pickled scarlet elf cups and I'll probably keep a few fresh to eat as well and I've got the fun job of taking these home and giving them a good clean Scarlet elf cups can be quite tricky to clean, but what you don't want to do is rinse them under the tap because they will soak up the water. So you just want to get a small knife and just uh, trim off the end bit if it's got any moss attached to it, and then just scrape the dirt off. You can take quite a while, but better than having dirt in your pickled mushrooms. You can just get like a damp cloth or a bit of towel and just wipe away any dirt. It's a nice simple process to make the pickled mushrooms. All you need is the, the scarlet elf cups which have been cleaned and you'll want some white wine vinegar and some dried spices. I'm using dried chilies, dried peppercorns, coriander seed, uh, dried ginger and dried clove but you can use uh, pretty much any spices you want. Uh, you can buy the pre-packaged spices, spice mixes as well. And you want some oil, I'm using cold pressed rapeseed oil, and you want a sterilised jar as well. Now to sterilise it, I've just cleaned it in really hot water, and then dried it in, the, in a warm oven. Now the measurements don't matter too much, I always make quite a bit extra, uh, just to pickle different ingredients. So you want to get your white wine vinegar into a pan. Get that onto a high heat and bring your white wine vinegar to the boil. When your vinegar's at a boil, just get your pickling spices and add them straight in. And turn the temperature down and just let it simmer for about 10 minutes or so. Alright, it's been about 10 minutes now. So I'm going to take it off the heat. And you want to sieve out the spices. It 
So you're removing the spices and keeping the liquid. Now you want to get your mushrooms and put them into the sterilized jar. Just make sure you've washed your hands as well. Then you want to get your pickling liquid and while it's still fairly hot or warm just pour it over your mushrooms. To near the top but leave a bit of a gap. Now you don't want air to react with the mushrooms because it'll make them spoil. So you can either get some cloth and push them down or what I usually do is get some oil and just pour it on. And that will float to the top and stop any air from getting in. You can do both, you can use cloth and oil. And then you want to seal it up. And put a label on it so you don't forget what it is. Not that you'll really forget, because they look quite distinctive. And you want to leave these for at least a few days to pickle, but they should last for several months. I quite like to use these. Um, they look good as a garnish for any dish really, but they go really well with fish. I like them with a bit of salad and smoked mackerel. You can either put them on whole cut them in half or even just cut them into strips I'm also going to add some of these pickled wild garlic flower buds. And sprinkle a few of these nettle seeds there we go nice quick healthy lunch